Hello, and welcome to our Columbia Links webcast. I'm Vanessa. And I'm Ashley. We're going to spend the next few minutes highlighting some of the stories we covered during the 2011 spring session. Many of our stories focus on the summer job situation for high school students. It doesn't look good. The way things are going, studies shows only less than 30% of teens who want to work will be able to find summer jobs. I talked with a student who works with the Metropolitan Area Group for Igniting Civilization, better known as MAGIC. MAGIC tries to tackle teen unemployment issues by working with the government. But I found out sometimes the government is the problem. As teenagers need to be invested in, students need to be invested in, our education, our safety, all that needs to be invested in. And right now, in this day and time, it's not looked at as a priority. People aren't investing in us properly, so we got to start investing in ourselves. But we can't let the statistics discourage us. There are some jobs out there, and you'll have to check out Taryn Owen's story on how to get the job and how to get around those trick questions on the application. Columbia Link supporter Crystal Phillips joins us with an interesting view on teens looking for work. My story, Teens, Drugs, and Unemployment, is about teens who do drugs and how it affects on getting a job. I asked professionals their opinion on whether drugs might affect a teen's work ethic. Some believe drugs are the reason why teens don't go out and look for jobs. I was also curious about how people feel about drug testing on the job and if drugs affect job performance or the motivation to look for a job. So I asked around. How do you feel about drug testing in order to get a job? Um, I think it's appropriate. Sure, why not? I think everyone should be drug tested in order to get a job because doing drugs is illegal. Do you think drugs get in the way of performance at a job? Um, yeah, probably because if you don't drug test and then people just do whatever, then they could abuse that. Yes, it does mess up your performance and worth ethic because it's, statistics have shown that people who do drugs take more time off of work. Do you think drugs are part of uh, teen unemployment in today's society? No. Yes, they are. I think it's sort of an issue, but not really. Like, if you know that you're applying for a job, then you know, okay, well, I can't do drugs. I was shocked and excited that so many people agreed to drug testing in order to get a job. Since America is number one out of seven European countries and North American countries in the prevalence of marijuana, according to the World Health Organization. I was also surprised that not many people thought that drugs affect the unemployment rate for teens. My fellow reporter, Ramon Simmons, has another side on jobs for teens. For some teens who find a job that they enjoy, it can end up putting them through college and even creating a way for them to climb up the ladder and become an entrepreneur. Thanks, Crystal. I took a different approach to this assignment because there is a such thing as all work and no play making teens zombies. I wanted to see just how far some teens will go to make that dollar. You can check out all of these stories on ColumbiaLinks.org. We'll give that web address again in a few minutes. Some of the other stories you'll find on the website, Resources and Support Service for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Teens. What it takes to deal with change at a new school, and the movie review, Prom. You know, Chicago is the home of Poetry Slam, and for those who have never been to one, check out the one we had at Lincoln Park High School. At times, existence seems a weight I can barely hold, like... Hercules in the tales old, barely able to grasp the terra fold. It's terrible. The school, the work, the rent, the morals I scarcely show, and the family I've been surrounded with since three that I swear I know. Poetry slams force people to look at teens in a whole new light, but sometimes we still get judged on the simple things. Okay, the question is, do you think people stereotype teenagers compared to the teens? What do you think, how do you think teenagers dress these days? Like um, style. It's definitely like more of like an urban kind of hipster look, tight, skinny jeans. I feel like a lot of the guys have like long cropped 1970s and hair. Do you think that it's appropriate for teens to wear hoodies and jeans? Yes, if the weather is permitting. I like my jeans and hoodie style sometimes. What happens to just being comfortable? Society can be so cruel. Speaking of, ever break up with someone and people say it's whatever, but your heart says otherwise? Here's another story worth checking out, getting over a breakup. When I was 18, I dated a young man by the name of Terrence. He was my first real But boyfriend. after we had sex, 
everything changed. My sophomore year of high school, there was this girl that I used to go out with, and I actually, I actually walked in on her cheating on me. And then I found out later that she actually moved back to Atlanta, which is where she was from in the first place. So yeah. since I went to school with her and I didn't have to see her any day, I didn't have the so constant one day reminder. I told him that it's a possibility that I could be pregnant. And he like like he yelled at B, this is not my kid. What's wrong with you? And he walked out of the house. And so you can get good advice, read interesting stories, and learn a lot by checking out the work we did during the spring session of Columbia Links program. Here's the website address again. It's columbialinks.org. And before we leave, we want to thank Brenda, Lauren, our journalism mentors, and the team here at Columbia College for taking care of us. Have a great summer.